I suspected there would come a day when I would have to say goodbye to you, either because I had had enough or because you had had enough of me. But never in my wildest dreams did I imagine I would be saying goodbye to this show. There was a quote in the press release, Sportsbeat is Stan, but Stan is not Sportsbeat. I took the meaning, but it's not entirely accurate. Because Sportsbeat is, or should I say, was me. For me, it lived and breathed and provided joy and lifted spirits with a spirit of its own. For nearly 18 years, it was my life. It was me. It was in very large part who I am. Maybe that's a bit shallow, but I have no regrets. I don't regret the days of hard scrabble sets and resources and personnel and revenue streams. It wasn't like today when the last show was predetermined. Back in the early days, the last show might have been any day you walked into the studio. To watch it and survive it and grow into being the signature show, not only of this network, but one of the most important shows of more than one generation of sports fans, fills me with a soaring and enduring pride. Thanks for making it so. I hope it was evident to you, the viewer, the painstaking effort we put into producing a nightly show that you might enjoy and of which we could be proud. Our band of brothers, Guy and Matt and Gina and Roger, this show was our world. We realized it wasn't 60 minutes, but it was to us. It was suggested to me that we treat tonight as a celebration of sports beat. I can't do that entirely. I look at it more like an Irish wake. We celebrate, but the underlying theme is that we acknowledge a death. A part of me is dying tonight. But I don't feel badly for me, I truly don't. I feel badly for the people outside the area who relied on us for their Pittsburgh sports information. I feel badly that I won't be able to talk with you nightly to share our thoughts and opinions, to share in the utter devastation of a Francisco Cabrera single or the unbridled hysterical joy of a Santonio Holmes catch or a Sidney Crosby goal. Where but here could Pittsburgh sports nation meet to open our hearts and minds for all to see? I'm reminded of the last sentence in Jim Bouton's book, Ball Four, when he says, I spent my entire life gripping a baseball only to realize it was the other way around. For 18 years, I thought I was in control of sports beat, but turns out it was in control of me all along. Stan, as your production crew and, of course, as your colleagues, we wanted to gather as one big group to say thank you and also to say goodbye to the show. Sportsbeat has been a major part of all of our lives. We were very proud to work on the show. It was always honest, factual, and insightful. And it also served the city of Pittsburgh well, which leaves us all with only one thing to say about our time served here on Sportsbeat. Love the show! All those of you who may have loved the show at any point, I want you to know that I loved it every day for 18 years.